But my end goal is for him to decrease his, his reactivity levels. That's for me. Oh, but he's not, not really. <laughs> everybody and welcome back to the coolest dog training channel right here on YouTube. I'm Tom Davis, America's canine educator. Thank you so much for joining me here today. This dog is very, very, like one of the most reactive dogs I've ever seen in life. So I got past this dog from one of my other trainers and today we're going to work on severe dog reactivity. This dog is going insane and it completely ignores the owner on every correction she's given him so far. So I'm going to break it down and try my best to figure out the best way to effectively, efficiently get this dog in a better state of mind. Okay, so go ahead and heal back this way. Let's try it again. Leave it. Yes. Good, leave it. Off. Off. Does that make sense? Yeah, no. Okay. So, so now what I, I want to be clear on what I'm doing is, is walk again. Yes, buddy. Good, now walk again. Up. So stop for a second. So this jumping is something I, I wouldn't to tell your husband or boyfriend or whatever. I wouldn't do this because it's it's a dangerous place for you guys to be. Okay. Because he's in your face and he's okay. reacting. So he could he could come up here, all of a sudden get really ticked off and grab your face out of frustration. Okay. Like he did with you. Yeah. Right? Because you, you become this this wall, this barrier. And if he's here, yeah. doesn't make it a safe place for him. Yeah, yeah, it's not good. Yeah, um, sit. Good. So I would I would strongly recommend to give him love and affection any other way than this. Okay. Because and the, the the reason why that is 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 if you guys want to do that, that's fine, but you have to understand that the dog is an animal and he's not gonna say, Mom and Dad likes this, everyone else doesn't. Yeah. He's gonna say, This it's is how I was forever. Yeah. It's just like when we teach when we teach manners, right. Yeah. Please, thank you. Exactly. So they're going to do that. What do you say? And he's going to go, well, this is what I do. I jump off and I get excited. Right? So I would try to step away from this as much as possible. Okay. Um, all right, stop for a second. Well, he's outletting the reactivity he would normally have into something else that's okay. exciting for him. Okay. That's why. So he's basically unplugging the going crazy reactivity and plugging it in somewhere else, which is the jumping. Okay. You know what I mean? So it's a stimulation. So I'm going to heal him a couple different times. I want you to leave it. Heal. Good. Good. Good boy. Sit. Off. Sit. Yes. So clarity, I was very clear, but I didn't correct him at all. I mm -hmm. walked him through, I gave him an opportunity to comply, which is important. Because mm -hmm. what you were doing, is you were doing probably what you felt was natural, which is strong, strong dog trying to kill, kill, kill. You were trying to punish as hard as you could, as fast as you could. Not terrible, mm -hmm. however, in this case, you could drop an atom bomb in this dog and it's not going to stop. You have to get into him mentally in order to, so, so before I was seeing a lot of like yanking and that just, that just revs him up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like a drunk person aggravated and wants to fight. Yeah. If you push and smack and try to get him out of it, that's, that's what MMA fighters and wrestlers do before they go fight. Yeah. They smack each other in the face. Sit. Good man. Go ahead and walk behind me. Leave it. No correction. So it's a taught behavior. Very good. Okay, great. That's a taught behavior. So I'm not I'm not relying on the equipment mm -hmm. to ultimately get the result I want. I'm using the equipment to teach the behaviors I like and what I don't like. Yeah. And I'm using a system called operant conditioning. Okay. okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Is this good? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm loving this. Like okay. I'm Freak. so excited, right? Cool, cool, cool. Freak. Take him and just uh, bring him outside and give him like three minutes to chill yeah. out. Freak. You ready, buddy? Ready for that? Off. Now we're gonna try this with another dog. This is gonna be the big test, mm -hmm. for sure. All right, Dad, go ahead. So 
because he's avoiding the dog. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Good. So I want him to be a bit exploratory. So he's looking, he's looking. I'm going to break him. Good boy. That's funny. And rewarding him with food. Sit. Uh-uh. Leave it. Go ahead and walk that way, Zach. And just, when you get over to the, leave it. So now I'm using the rope collar on a lower level. helped him get over that hump faster because the correction the correction avoidance avoidance um, that didn't work until we introduced the remote collar and gave him a different type of aversive correction and then it, it and that's why I like using the remote collar for uh, behavioral cases like this because a lot of times if you get a really ticked off dog that's going after through frustration and stimulation um, if you correct them physically and you punch them basically they can redirect on you and it makes things worse. Yes. So using the remote collar for severe reactivity to no, modify a behavior easy. is the most effective, humane, efficient way. Because you're like, you're um, and now we just, I want to practice on obedience to make sure you're where you need to be with yeah. that. Um, and then continuing to like do group class and coming in working with Morgan again, but making sure that you're fluent with your e-collar, your remote collar, and making sure that your remote collar is of, of good, Manufacturing yeah. value. Yeah, that's it's a twenty dollar one off Amazon. Yeah. So probably not. Don't yeah, because because so sometimes they like are good um, for a short amount of time, but they're not going to be they're not going to be like consistent, and they can shut off, and they can stop working, and the numbers may not be consistent. So that's why I really suggest people using like a really nice collar. Uh, like in this session, it's the Dogger Two EDC. It's small. It's compact. And it's also got a lot of punch uh, for the vibrates. The vibrates really significant. So just using that pager, the dog goes rawr, you go brrr, he goes oh. Yeah. You don't have to pull, you don't have to yank, you don't have to yell, you don't have to scream. It doesn't really affect him in a sense of like getting him more stimulated. It just kind of yeah. deactivates the reactivity. Um, so yeah, cheap collars, it's just like with food. Yeah. It's like th there's, a, there's the McDonald's 99 cent burger, and then there's the $15 bistro burger, yeah. you know, so same thing, fills you up, but you're, you're getting what you pay for. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh